Welcome back to Linux Network. If you're a Linux user who loves gaming or has ever considered gaming on Linux, you've probably heard of Wine and Proton. These tools have been game changers, allowing us to play Windows games on Linux. But there's exciting news that could take Linux gaming to the next level. The NT-Sync driver is coming to the Linux kernel. If you're wondering what that means, how it works and why it's such a big deal, stick around and let's break it down. Before diving into NT-Sync, let's quickly understand Wine and Proton. Wine is a tool that emulates the Windows environment on Linux. It allows Linux to run Windows applications including games by translating Windows API, short for Application Programming Interface, calls into something Linux can understand. Proton is a compatibility layer developed by Valve and built on top of Wine. It's specifically optimized for gaming and integrates seamlessly with Steam to let you play many Windows-only games on Linux without extra setup. Wine and Proton are fantastic, but they're not perfect. One major issue is how they handle something called synchronization primitives. These are part of the Windows API and they're used by games and applications to manage tasks and threats efficiently. Imagine you're juggling several balls at once. Synchronization primitives are the rules that ensures you catch and throw the right balls at the right time without dropping them. In Wine, these synchronization primitives have historically been handled in user space, essentially outside the Linux kernel. This is done using a process called RPC, short for Remote Procedure Call. While this approach works, it's slow and can become a bottleneck, especially with modern games that heavily rely on these synchronization features. As a result, some games that should perform well on Linux end up stuttering, lagging or running far below their potential. Enter NT-Sync, a new driver for the Linux kernel. This driver addresses the synchronization problem by implementing the necessary Windows API features directly in the Linux kernel. In simple terms, it's like moving the juggling rules from a slower helper outside the main stage to the person performing the juggling making the whole act faster and smoother. Here is why this is a game changer. By handling synchronization directly in the kernel, NT-Sync eliminates the overhead of RPC. This can result in massive performance gains for certain games. The NT-Synchronization APIs are complex and require precise control over how tasks wait for each other. NT-Sync ensures these features works as intended, even for the most demanding games. Previously, Wine used solutions like eSync and FSync to improve performance. While effective, they weren't perfect and required some configuration. NT-Sync replaces these methods, offering a unified solution that's built into the Linux kernel. Let's talk numbers because nothing shows improvements like hold hard data. Here are some benchmarks comparing games performance using the current Wine approach versus NT-Sync. As you can see, some games like Dirt Free saw performance skyrocket by an incredible 678%. Others like Resident Evil 2 and Call of Juarez are also show massive gains. Even modest improvements such as the 21% increase in Metro 2033 can make a noticeable difference in gaming smoothness. Let's break down how NT-Sync solves the synchronization problem. NT-Sync moves the implementation of NT-Synchronization primitives directly into the Linux kernel. This allows Linux to handle these tasks much faster and more accurately. By removing the need for RPC and user space solutions, NT-Sync avoids the delay caused by moving data back and forth between the kernel and user space. Some Windows APIs like NT-Pulse Event and the Wait for All mode of NT-Wait for Multiplayer objects are difficult to emulate correctly in the user space. NT-Sync provides native support for these features. Once NT-Sync is included in the Linux kernel, it will benefit all tools that rely on Wine, including Proton. This means gamers won't have to manually enable or configure eSync or FSync, the improvements will work out of the box. Any game that uses NT-Synchronization primitives will see performance gains even if it's running on plain Wine instead of Proton. As games become more complex and demanding, NT-Sync ensures Linux can keep up with the latest Windows APIs. The NT-Sync driver has been in development for some time, with the latest version of the patch version 7 posted by developer Elizabeth Figura in December 2024. 
It's expected to be included in the Linux kernel 6.14, which is slated for release around March 2025. If you're using a rolling release distribution like Arch Linux or Fedora Keynote, you'll likely get access to the new kernel shortly after its release. For users on more stable distributions such as Ubuntu or Debian, it may take a bit longer. However, once the kernel is officially released, you can always compile it yourself if you're eager to try it out. Linux gaming has come a long way in recent years. Tools like Proton, combined with hardware advancements and better driver supports, have made it possible to play many AAA games on Linux. But challenges remain and performance gaps between Linux and Windows still exist in some cases. NTSync represents another leap forward. By addressing one of the core bottlenecks in how Wine handles synchronization, it makes Linux gaming even more competitive with Windows. And because it's a kernel-level solution, the benefits apply universally without requiring special tweaks or settings. If you're excited about NTSync and want to be ready when it arrives, here are a few tips. Follow news about Linux kernel to know when version 6.14 is released. If you're comfortable with a faster update cycle, consider using a distribution like Arch Linux, Fedora Keynote or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. If you haven't already, try playing games with Proton on Steam or Wine. This will give you a baseline to compare performance once NTSync is available. Join forums or subreddits focused on Linux gaming. You'll find plenty of people eager to share tips and experience once NTSync lands. The inclusion of NTSync in the Linux kernel is a massive step forward for Linux gaming. By solving a critical bottleneck and simplifying the synchronization process, it promises to deliver smoother, faster gameplay for a wide range of Windows games. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just someone curious about gaming on Linux, this is a development worth celebrating. So, are you excited to try out NTSync? Which games are you planning to test once NTSync is included in the kernel? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.